Now let's graph a transformation of an exponential function and you should have reviewed transformations at this point and when you look at this function here um, f of x equals 3 to the x minus 1 you should know that by replacing x with x minus 1 you're, we're going to get a horizontal translation or a horizontal shift to the right one unit and so what we're first going to do is we're going to graph the basic function we're going to graph f of x equals 3 to the x first and we'll focus on those three ordered pairs the negative 1 1 over b or negative 1 1 third 0 1 and 1 b and again b in this case is 3 we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0 so we can graph these points negative 1 up a third and I'm going to use an open circle because this is not my final graph, it's just a reference graph. Three. And I'm actually going to connect those with a kind of a dotted curve here, trying not to hit the x-axis. And so now I know that by replacing x with x minus 1, I get a shift to the right. So I'm going to take each one of these points and I'm going to shift them to the right one unit. So here's the first point the second point shift that over one the third point shift that over one again my asymptote has not changed so this is my final graph I'm going to connect it with a nice solid curve nice and smooth and so this is the graph of f of x equals 3 to the x minus 1 another way to look at this is to look at the ordered pairs this is a kind of a, another way to actually graph one of these is instead of graphing the rough sketch first if we just ask ourselves what happens when you, we have a horizontal shift to the right what's really going on is that we're going to add 1 to each x value and so I'm going to take my original ordered pairs it's my new f of x and I'm going to keep the y values the same because those are unaffected but each x value I'm going to add 1 to. So where I had a negative 1, I'm now going to have 0. Where I had 0, I'm now going to have 1. Where I have 1, I'm now going to have 2. And so had I not graphed this original rough sketch, I could have used these three ordered pairs. Um, if you would rather graph that rough sketch, it's a good idea to use these three ordered pairs to check your final graph. So 0, 1 third should be on the graph. Over 1, up 1. And over 2, up 3. And that worked. And again, our asymptote on our new graph is still y equals 0 because shifting to the left or right does not affect a horizontal asymptote. Okay, now let's try one more before you um, try a couple on your own. And let's graph y equals 2 to the negative x together. So again, I'm going to graph the basic function 2 to the x using the three special points and the um, asymptote so it would be negative negative 1 1 over b or 1 half 0 1 and 1 b and b is 2 same I've got an asymptote of y equals 0 I'm going to graph this sketch lightly negative 1 up a half 0 1 over 1 up 2 and broken line since this is just my reference graph. Now I'm going to graph f of x equals 2 to the negative x and we're going to do that by in this case replacing x with negative x means to reflect each of the um, each of the points over the y-axis so this is a reflection over the y-axis so if the point was if it had a negative x value it's now going to have a positive x value zero when you reflect if you're on the axis it stays right where it is where I had a positive x I'm now going to have a negative x and now what was a decreasing function is now transformed uh, what wasn't increasing excuse me is now transformed into a decreasing function and so the navy uh, the blue solid graph is the final graph and let's do that again. Let's check that 
by using by altering the ordered pairs. And so when you reflect over the y-axis, you change the sign of every x value. So our y values remain the same. Where I had a negative one, I'm now going to have a one. The opposite of zero is still zero. The opposite of one is negative one. And now let's just check that these three points are on our graph. Over one, up a half. Yep. Zero, one. Negative one, up two. So at this point, I'd like you to pause the graph and I'd like you to graph the next problems on your own. Um, I, what I would do is solve, pause the graph and solve one problem. Start the, um, excuse me, pause the, um, the video. Finish the problem and then start the video again to see your answer and then move on to the next problem. Okay, so hopefully you did actually graph this. Um, it, it's really important that you, you know, that you become involved in the course, and you work actively, and you don't just watch all the videos without without participating. So I'm hoping that you did graph this, and that you're just checking your work right now. Um, so we're going to graph the basic function f of x equals negative. Uh, excuse me. graph f of x equals 4 to the x first. So we'll get our our three ordered pairs would be negative 1. In this case it would be 1 fourth, 0 1, and 1 b which is 4. Right. The horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Now let's graph the final graph. Um, We'll graph this one lightly. We'll graph the final graph yet. So negative one up a quarter, zero up one, and then over one up one, two, three, four. There's our rough sketch of the basic graph before the transformation. And now if you recall in transformations that multiplying a function by a negative, that's going to give you a reflection over the x-axis. So where every every point that had a positive y value is now going to have a negative y value. And so we're going to graph f of x equals negative 4 to the x, which will be our final graph. So here I had a, a, neg a positive uh, y value. I'm now going to have a negative y value. Where I had a positive 1 here, I'm going to have a negative 1. And where I had a positive 4, I'm now going to have a negative 4. That actually looks like a 3. I'm going to fix that right there. Should be up a little higher. Okay, so our new graph, I'm going to connect these points. Our asymptote hasn't changed. And so you see we get a reflection over the x axis. Okay, all of our positive y values became negative y values, and this is our final graph right here, the solid graph. Let's double check by altering the ordered pairs. So in this case, when you reflect over um, the x-axis, you change the sign of all of your y values. So the x values remain the same, and all your y values, you're basically just taking the opposite of them. Be negative 1 and negative 4. So negative 1 down a quarter, 0 down 1, and then over 1 down 4, and that works. Okay, let's look at the last graph. One of the last couple of questions. Um, write the equation that results in shifting the graph of y equals 1 third to the x 5 units down and 1 unit to the left. So we know that to shift a graph five units down, we would have to subtract five from the function. And to shift it to the left, we'd have to add that one to the x. Right? So there's your new function. And to write the equation that results in reflecting the graph of y equals 2.7x over the y-axis, um, to reflect over the y-axis, you take the opposite of x. So your new function would be 2.7 to the negative x. So how'd you do? 
Um, I hope you understood that. Um, again, I want to stress the fact that it's extremely important that you actually practice these problems before you see the results. Um, it's really the only way that you're going to get good at math.